All right. All right. It is 10th of February, 2023. It is the day that the, the sun was bleached from the sky and unboxing videos plagued YouTube. <laughs> it's like everybody under the sun uh, oh, unboxed their PS VR2, uh, which is exciting uh, with two weeks to go now until the 22nd. So, um, well, less than two weeks. You know, 22 minus 10 is not 14, I just realized. But anyway, let's find out what Reddit's been up to over the last little while. Um, since yesterday. Again, they have still not changed the art here. I don't know who I need to... Who do I need to approach with that? Okay, here we go. The two pins we skip, and then we're on to what we do with our time capsule. Consuming Reddit together. Reacting to it live. Live? This is recorded video, Zim. I'm not used to this stuff. With PSVR 2 only a couple weeks away, I decided to build myself a lake house in No Man's Sky to take in the sights and sounds in VR. Portal coordinates in second pick if you'd like to visit Euclid Galaxy. So this is the lake house in No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is getting a day one free upgrade for PSVR 2, which means if you... Jeez, that's a really nice house. That's quite complicated. And, uh, yeah. Uncle Cletus sure is wearing um, his full winter gear, I see, but it is kind of nasty outside. This is reminding me of having a habitat in Subnautica. Spoke of Subnautica yesterday. Yeah. And if you made it this far, by the way, if you made it this far, you've consumed more than an hour of Zim going on about Reddit, which it's got to give you some kind of brownie points. Or an award or something. Some kind of unlock, um, uh, I'm sure. Now this one is PSVR 2 Deep Dive Song in the Smoke Preview. Talking tech with 17-bit on Digital Foundry. Okay, so that's uh, an interview with the devs. Should you want to do it? I'm not going to run that here. Um, they, they actually reached out. And they're like, hey, you want a key to the PSVR 2? And I'm like, yes, sure, let's do it. I, love, I actually really like the Song in the Smoke. It's a really cool game. But I didn't get to play much of it. Um, I got to the point where you're like tanning skins and stuff. And that was all right. I was like happy with that. But like the environment felt a little bit boxed in. So I hope with its uh, conversion to PSVR 2, I feel a little bit, I don't know if freer is the right word. But the it, it felt a little bit like a red versus blue canyon. And if it still gives me that feeling, it's not going to really, I'm not going to say it's not going to do it for me. But it doesn't give me the same kind of open survival feeling that certain things, you know, do in VR. And and, and some games have been really good at that. Um, multiplayer ones too. So everyone with getting their headsets now. With many being new to VR, please remember sunlight. Okay, I want to check this out because this is a good... These are... I feel like we're doing um, beginner introductions here a little bit, which is... It's fine. All right, front frontways Larry VR says <clears throat> the lenses are like magnifying glasses, and sunlight through them for even a few minutes or seconds actually uh, will fry the displays inside. We've seen way too many people ruin their headsets before in the VR community. Uh, direct or indirect sunlight will hurt the lenses, but the tracking cameras on the outside will be fine. Not always. The outside, uh, the outside cameras can get damaged. So, for example, if you smash down your headset on a table or something, you can actually crack the outside uh, tracking lenses. Now, it depends on the placement. I think the PSVR 2 placement is a little bit kinder than the Quest, for example. The Quest is quite not prone to camera cracking, but I've seen it happen. Um, I don't think, unless it's really, really strong sunlight, that the cameras can really get affected. I have burned a panel at least on an Oculus Go, which is again a uh, Fresnel lens. Um, so yeah, just it's that's this is a really smart one. Uh, do you get sunbeams throughout the day? Uh, maybe best to cover up the lenses. Yeah. So one of the things that I would recommend that people get, if I mean, there's two options here. You can go the cheap option and just like grab a sock and just shove it in there every time. Uh, the other thing is like keep the headset turned away from windows. And then if you want to be really flashy. Um, I don't know. You get one of these little guys, like a head a headset thing. You can get them really cheap at IKEA. Um, I think is uh, is the latest tip that I've heard on the internet. 
from VR people. So take a look there. They have like glass or plastic heads for not very much money. So that might be something worth doing. Uh, liquid cleaners. This is like, yeah, do different things. Don't use alcohol wipes because they clean off stuff on the lenses. Yep. Generally, you just, you know, a little spit shine. No, I'm just kidding. Don't spit in your headset. Doesn't work like uh, snorkel gear, unfortunately. Um, this is, if you get any of these feelings, like we talked about this before. Play area, don't punch grandma. Yep, ease your way in, just like your first time. Oh, yeah, giggity. Um, what's going on? What else is here? Another good suggestion is play something on the floor that's just a bit higher than the floor. I used to be really nervous about that, but I do exactly that. I have, like, an anti-fatigue mat. Uh, it's a proper VR one um, with positional little pellets or whatever in it and one tip that i'll give if you're playing on carpet on almost any other kind of like surface mat the thing will crawl like this now what you can do is get strong like 3m style um like a 3m style uh velcro right and you put it in a few spots under the rug or the circular thing that you've got and what will end up happening is it won't move an inch anymore and you just use the one side. You don't you need both sides of the Velcro. You just need the side with the hooks. And against carpet, it won't move an inch. It's great. Um, we have an intruder. So, <laughs> hello. Hello. Um, okay. Let's keep going with our Reddit dive. And, um, oh, God. That is, yeah, that's one thing. What was the other one here? Don't forget the common feeling of this association you can get. Like your hands aren't yours. The things can look weird. That's interesting. Some people did think they were losing their minds with that. I had it when I was driving once. And uh, that was a little bit scary. So that's all right. But it, it goes away. Look at this. Stuff you guys and rip my bank balance. Did I get caught up in the hype? <laughs> yes, I did. Did I just spend $569.99 pre-ordering the Horizon Call of the Mountain bundle? Yes, I did. Did I just spend 489 on a PS5? Yes, I did. Did I just spend 60 pounds on Gran Turismo 7 and Resident Evil Village? Yes, I did. You lot have a lot to answer for. Try to be more responsible in the future. <laughs> did you just make an amazing decision? Yes, you did. That's amazing. That's great. Welcome and enjoy the ride. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go on, brother or sister. You got it. Uh, me seeing everyone get the email, but I haven't yet. So apparently there were... Um, confirmation of bank charges coming you know uh, fee withdrawal coming here we go this is the one thank you for pre-ordering on playstation this is for the playstation pre-orders in places like the us and the uk we wanted to send some information on your pre-order payment when your order is ready to be delivered we will try to charge the total amount of your pre-order to the specified payment method this is expected to occur from friday the 17th so please ensure you have the funds available. Uh, please also take a moment to check that your shipping address and billing address are up to date. Please note, your pre-order reservation will be canceled if your payment method fails for reasons such as insufficient funds, card expired, etc. If your payment method fails, you'll be notified and have 24 hours uh, to update your payment information. If this fails on the second attempt, your order will be canceled and given to the next person in line. Thank you very much. PlayStation. What did people respond to this? I'm really curious. The 24 hour window to change out of payment details is helpful. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, yes, I'm doing it with PayPal for the first time and I'm pretty nervous something goes wrong because usually it's a two step process, but Sony is in the list of pre-authorized dealers, so everything should be fine. Please be fine. <laughs> Please be fine. How do you do this text size thing? I don't even know how these tricks. It's amazing. Some people know how to be Redditors. I'm still learning, like, 15 years later. Um, I still love the place. All right, two ways to unpack the headset. Uh, this is clearly going to show me the dude dropping it out of the box. I think that's Ian Higton, is it, from Eurogamer? What is that? Looks like. Oh! Well, fucking noob. All right. Y'all got some more of them? PSVR 2 unboxing videos? Yeah, no, seriously, that's hilarious, man. There's like loads. Like when they started popping up, I was sitting here thinking, dude, who in the hell would ever sit down to watch a video of a person opening a box? But apparently I'm the weird one for not wanting to watch a video of a box being opened. I believe I can live with that. Like, yeah, seriously, this is like the whole 
um, how can you watch games on Twitch, for example? Like for a lot of people, it's it's funny because they like they get really bent out of shape and say like, you watch someone play video games, like freaking. And I always thought that that was like a funny little analogy because it's like it's exactly what you do with sports. <laughs> it's exactly the same fucking thing. There's no difference. And unboxings is just is just about feeding your mirror neurons. So you're like. And it, for those people who don't know, like mirror neurons will fire off. So like if a kid is eating ice cream, your brain will actually fire off the same pathways as if you were eating ice cream, mirror neurons. Just, and that's, I think that's why porn is so successful because it's like, oh, I'm watching people do it. I can feel like I'm doing it at least a little bit, like even if it's 10%. Um, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, humans and mirror neurons, kind of an interesting thing. I think it's also why fail videos do really well because you can imagine being in the shoes of the person who's you know getting hit in the balls with a, a 50 foot <laughs> concrete swing or so I, I don't know you know something painful so um but yeah not everyone's a fan of unboxings um i have been doing colorful unboxings since the start of my vr career we do it with a glove on glasses for safety and do something fun every time so look forward to zim's unboxing if you haven't had enough, like this fine gentleman. All right. How's this? Uh, that's clearly not related. Oh, this is funny. This is the um, PSVR 2 unboxing. Um, I thought this was really funny because the lady who's doing it, she looks a little bit like she's at gunpoint. Just a little bit. Like she's there and she's like saying her thing, but she's it almost looks like she's sweating nervously. And then she's going through this whole process. <laughs> it's like, don't, don't slip up, Barbara. Don't you feckin' slip up. And she's doing the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to spoil this because um, I don't want to spoil it for myself either. But there you go. Let's go back. This is, what zoom do I have this at? Jesus. <laughs> this is all huge. Okay. Good. Is that me done? Oh, did I go? Okay. Scroll past it. Why does it cost more than the PS5? I know it's not cheap and times are tough for most, but the commenters on these posts never seem to understand the tech that they are getting with this headset and always compare it to the Quest 2. Just frustrating at times. Yeah. Wish I could afford this. Overpriced. All we need is money. <clears throat> yeah, people are saying that. I want to see what people said to this, though. PSVR 1 was also more expensive than the PS4. Yes, and... People forget as well when they compare the prices of the price. <laughs> Pardon. Of the uh, move controllers, of the, like all the extras that went bundled with it. And also, if you, some of the price of a quest, like when you add a head strap and just anything else that you add to it. Like I added um, an additional cover to the back. I added um, even headphones, like external headphones, you know. It, it like, Quest bundle for me, or Quest in total for me, even before they put the price up, was nearing, I think it was 600 pounds, uh, or 500 pounds, was one of those two. I don't remember the number exactly, but it's not like it's super cheap. It's just more like a modular headset that you have to, like, piece together with money. Um, and this one is like, it's, it's just all in one. You get everything. The only thing you don't get is the audio, right? But they give you the earbuds, but I don't, like, I don't know. Um... Wow. 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 This looks interesting. Uh, worth it. Nah. Nah. We'll leave it. Okay. Uh, I just got this through. This is about good signs and hype is building. Very good. Very good. Uh, what is this? This is what the PSVR 2 is really going to bring for the future of VR. What is this? I'm not too much into VR, but again, I pre-ordered this headset just to be able to appreciate Lady D and her assets in the fullest of glory. For me, this headset is almost like a Lady D simulator. <laughs> oh God. Um, I know we joked the other day about her 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 big her big uh, butt and how well they modeled it, but um, I've never seen Lady D aside from promotional material. I've never seen her in game. Uh, that's not why I want to play Resident Evil. It isn't for a bosomy busty lady um it's 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 i really hope i get scared i really hope the game is like quite not traumatic scared not like i mean resident evil 7 was pretty bad and i know this one is watered down or a little bit more 
it's easier to, to to go they wanted to make it appreciable to like a wider audience and not just terrify everybody but i think in doing that and choosing to do that it's lost something like resident evil for me was always the game that like was going to make you frightened to play it and so i don't know i just want to play that story because i don't know what's going to happen next a lot of the resident evils have been very good and just a reminder to people resident evil 4 is apparently coming as well right uh, listed in launch title we got pavlov it's a launch title oh shit it's a launch title <laughs> oh my god okay so if you don't know pavlov i mean pavlov is counter-strike in in vr basically and it's gonna clean up on launch day if the price is like 20 dollars or 25 dollars they are gonna clean house everyone's gonna be playing that it's gonna kill you think gt7 has a lot of players Man, Pavlov's going to kill. Within the first month, it'll probably oversell everything else on the store. Um, maybe not Horizon, because Horizon's been really heavily touted. But yeah, at a price of $20, it might. Uh, PSVR 2 Complete Unboxing. Yeah, I'm not going to look at that right now. Not really trying to save myself or anything, but you know. What else have we got here? How are we doing on time? 16. Um another unboxing article this one talks about comfort and space when using glasses for those who are interested yeah again i'm gonna leave it for the moment uh dreams psvr2 support speculation jammy hero has dreams icon between kayak vr and call of the mountain on his ps5 dashboard in a tweet thanking kayak devs for review code huh which means dreams the game where you could make games in it might get supported on psvr2 doesn't excite me a huge amount but it's something anyone else avoiding all these unboxing videos yeah it's like i want to be trying to avoid all of them yeah well i'm glad i'm doing it late so to speak i must be getting old what is this am i so out of touch that i can't enjoy an unboxing video no it's the videos that are wrong <laughs> for me it's more about the shared hype the community buzz I don't care about the design of the box, but I do love being part of the abundant excitement that is ar around us. Yeah, this is totally me. I got to upvote this fella. Uh, Mr. M Mivo. <clears throat> what kind of face is that? What? Ah, oh, friends. All right. With sushi on the head. Uh, seeing people opening the box while glowing, all of us watching together and being giddy. That for me is what makes it fun. It's the experience, not the box. Yep uh bandicoot says i've never enjoyed unboxing videos i just don't get them it's cool to hear people's hype but it's the least interesting part of the product and we don't really get to see anything new we've already seen what's in the box and decent close-ups of everything anyway uh, i would love to see some new gameplay and reviews of games in my maybe pile looking forward to embargoes lifting i am old i don't get why people watch unboxing videos i am young and don't get unboxing videos yeah it's funny i like to make it as something entertaining so <clears throat> it's fun it's fun for me and the thing is like if you're a streamer and you're doing something it doesn't matter what that is if you're having fun oftentimes the audience will be entertained uh this is another unboxing video but as new footage of call of horizon call of the mountain does it i have a feeling they're not supposed to do that hang on let's check where are we horizon horizon where hello Mr. Generic Tech Reviewer guy, does it have new footage? I think he just cut up parts of, unless it's this. Uh, I'm not sure. With the paint? Okay, that's pretty neat. And that's the your average consumer. And was that Stormbird? Show me Stormbird. Go on, do it. I'm really curious here now. That's not a stormboard. That's a glint hawk. Very good. I've done my my work. All right. All right. Excellent. That's great. Enjoy your stuff. Sense controller charging station. Yay or nay. Does anyone even know about this? I mean, it looks kind of neat. Personally, I think any dock for the controllers is a must. Having an easy place to store them and knowing they'll be charged when I want them is a massive convenience. Um, the and and again, it looks looks pretty good. Uh, see the post in our just now some dude got his 2ds fried by a third-party dock yeah yeah exactly the, the sony one looks good it's like a cradle and um just just looks fine looks fine 
uh amazon rakuten softmap all guaranteeing release day delivery hmm. love to have that here but i don't think that will happen hubris is now in the ps store to add to the wish list yeah looks good but i haven't played the full game i will reserve judgment i have a copy check your local library for games you can check out many public library systems offer games my local library gets most ps5 releases this is the thing i don't get like when i was a kid libraries were where you went to like it was like jail for children you'd like go there and you'd be like if i can read something and you're like no i want to play with a game boy no you're gonna read huckleberry finn you're gonna enjoy it <laughs> we never had music films games uh, what that was blockbuster like block you went to blockbuster you like rented an n64 and banjo kazooie or whatever uh, i don't know i don't know kids these days you know completely feckin' spoiled yep it's awesome as well i like I, I'm, I'm excited for them uh this is just basically saying go to your local library so nice of you to share i will keep that in mind yeah that's a good point that's crazy yeah but the video games thing like but they, they, they can't be like latest releases uh, PSVR 2 review embargo supposedly lifts on Thursday the 16th. Screenshot is from Mystic's new video at 844. Unboxing embargo lifts today. Reviews lift next Thursday the 16th from Mystic. <clears throat> don't know who Mystic is. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know if I should tell you. I feel bad, but it's probably a good thing. What is this? How I imagine PSVR or PSVR will be after PSVR 1, <laughs> PSVR 2 launches. How do I get PSVR adapter cable for PS5? <laughs> oh, God, it's so true. That's exactly what's going to happen. Thoughts on this new armor set? Yeah, no, 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 no. What's all this? <clears throat> we'll share a review of it tonight at blah, blah, blah. This is, this is uh, 16 hours old. Yeah, very good. Pavlov on the store. We saw that already um yeah i don't know that the jedi knight stuff oh that's blade and sorcery actually oh look look who it is it's old mike what are people saying about mike god that's a very um bright image isn't it it's like very very bright he's done a pretty decent job the old uh, x's and o's in the background uh what do people say i'm always curious if people are disparaging of mike or like i love mike good hope oh, this brings him back from metal land yeah no kidding <laughs> He's, uh, he's, he's, he's definitely kind of meta-aligned or has been for a while. Uh, he has strategically included a couple of game cases that are compatible with PSVR 2. Keys have gone out for review. An Easter egg around the embargo. Astro has not missed a couple. Uh, I believe Astro's Playroom will be fully playable in VR and updated. Yeah, I don't know. We might, you know? That's very good. Level of enthusiasm and detail. He does amazing videos. He really does. Mike is great. Uh, it's so funny because having done pod podcasts with Mike and Nathie, like Mike is now, you know, he, he he does a pretty good job of of um, keeping keeping Reddit and stuff happy, where <laughs> Nathie's the complete opposite. Uh, RoboCop would be nice, just how Iron Man was nice. It was a dude died, but they made him go to work anyway. What what's this about? RoboCop would be nice, just how. Oh right, yeah. Mike is actually a huge RoboCop fan, huge. Um, so he would definitely be up for that. Unboxing the PS VR Sense Controller Charging Station. Okay, cool. I do want to see this part. Hello, I'm looking at the charging station. Here's the dock. I'm just gonna just want to take a look at it. So basically, it's a, it's these US slot in USB charger nubs, right? And then those go in. There's your base, and then you plonk the controllers in, and that's it. See, looks pretty decent. Kind of leave that alone. All right. Pause that just in case it does something funny. PSVR 2 gun stock options. I believe ProTube VR are working on a stock. Like they have for like almost every headset. Uh, it'll be interesting once we get, you know, controllers that way. Uh-huh. Why is Switchback so highly anticipated? On Rails. Because it's good fun. That's a good, that's a good point. Switchback is a good, a good question to ask Reddit because Rush of Blood was fun as hell and was a nice showcase of PSVR's capabilities. It was the easiest game to sit friends and family in and let them dip their toes without fiddly controls or having to understand locomotion. That is a really good um <clears throat> that is a really good way to explain it because 
You want something where someone can just literally lays on a couch or sit on a couch and feel comfortable without worrying about like falling over or, you know, going headfirst into a television or something like that. So I get that. Switchback is like the spiritual successor of Rush of Blood. And I'm looking forward to it. It was delayed though. So it's no longer a launch. It's no longer a launch title. So just bear that in mind. What else have we got? I think I've exhausted all English YouTubers and I'm now being suggested Spanish and Asian videos. Like, hell yeah, that's fine. What is this? No, that's promoted ad. Any word on what cinematic mode will be like? That's, I'm, that, I'm really interested in this. I don't think we have any information. I don't think so. Back to the abyss, baby, and I like it. A theater app would be good. On PSVR 1, normal cinematic mode was just a void. Yeah. Um, Hulu app. There was Netflix, of course, Plex, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll see. First word to come to mind is awesome. Yeah. I, I, I think it's going to be a lot better than the first one and, and perhaps more useful. Uh, that seems like, look, we've, we've dug pretty far down. There's a good side by side. The only thing I don't like about the PSVR 2's design so far, you see, and you can't, you can't really easily land it on one of the cameras, which is nice. Uh, the thing I don't like is the fucking earbud holes. Like, I know it was there in the second revision of the, what would you call that? It was in the second revision of the PSVR 2 where they changed the breakout box, the cable, where the audio thing, all that connected. But, <clears throat> like, having these, like, little potentially earwax-filled earbuds that you then stick into an orifice in the side of the headset and then take them out and play with them and do that again. And if you get sweaty or, like, it just, it seems like a, you're not going to be able to clean that and it would just be horribly unhygienic maybe someone would like it but i have to say out of every sony pair of earbuds i've ever had walkmans and all that kind of stuff they've always been terrible so i've never had a good pair not once not once i think i've had a good pair of sennheiser earbuds but that's about it and then sure and a few other brands but yeah those those for me go straight into the cupboard like day one day one that's just the way they go. So will we get some gameplay uh, tomorrow or the day after or something? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm wrecked. I'm, I'm fucking wrecked. I'm always tired. I'm always tired this time of night. And it's like, oh, I just gotta, gotta go to bed. But it's good. It's a good kind of tired. I mean, this is like, we're getting there. We're getting close. I don't know if my PSVR 2 is going to show up on time or not. But hey, that doesn't matter. I'll tell you what does matter. I'm crumbling. I am crumbling, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely crumbling. I sent a message to the dude with the steering wheel. And I was like, hey, I'm lowballing him a little bit. Hey, would you take 200 Canadian dollars for the, uh, it's for the GT, sorry, it's for the G29 pedals and shifter for 200 Canadian dollars. Used, but in perfect condition. Sounds like a bargain to me. If, the, if no one else bites, if he comes back to me and says, yeah, do it, man, I might be getting into GT7 and stuff. I'm very ashamed. I hope he says no. I hope he's like, feck off. That's too low a price. In which case, I'll just be like, okay, bow out. I can, you know, rest my head. If the guy says yes, ah, feck. 